Thank you very much brothers and sisters and subscribers. My name is Don. I want to do an important video as the title suggests. God's judgment is coming on unrepentant sinners alive or after we're dead. Because, you know, uh, Christ has been appointed to judge everyone, you know, after resurrection. But also now, very soon, with the day of God's wrath, six seal comes when you know god's judgment will come upon unrepentant sinners because the signs are all around you know like matthew 24 that the tribulations already the seals already begun you know earthquakes rumors of wars pestilence famine so i want to read an article i found interesting by brother ellen called judgment is coming and I'll go through some sins that God hates that we should, you know, avoid. Because God's judgment is coming. On, on, and we'll remove those that continue to do these and are not repentant. Acts 17. Because he has an appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man, a Christ, whom he has appointed. Where... Of he has given assurance unto all men in that he has raised him from the dead. It is time to get very serious. We'll all be standing uh, you call it? before the Lord in, in the not too distant future. For, it, for some it will be a time of great blessing if you did righteous, acted righteous and avoid sin. But for others it will be a time of sorrow and judgment as they rejected the only saviour the lord christ jesus christ and carried on sinning see, the most horrible of the judgments of god can be found in chapter six uh, on from the book of revelation as i said god's wrath really begins at seal six and we've already started the seals already begun. However, today we are witnessing strange and deadly weather changes. These are all signs that the end is, you know, God's judgment is soon. These are precursors like global climate change and climate chaos. Just, that's in global warming. That's really God's judgment. That's just they just they have to say something. Volcanic and earthquake increasing. Animal die-offs, which I might do a video about that. Polar melting, unusual movements of Earth's magnetic, magnetic fields, strange diseases, and other dangerous and scary trends in nature. It will get so bad in the days ahead that men and women will literally die from fear. Luke 21, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Yeah, because uh, when it, I believe the powers of the heavens will be shaken when Nibiru comes around the sixth seal and casts meteorites. Men's and women's hearts will fa faint out of fear for looking at the things above. Though it all, it is all God, though through it, God is warning people to get ready. You know, there are several sins that God provokes God's to, judge, to judgment and to anger. And I will go through some, uh, you know, I'll go through some sins. Rock music, for instance, that blasphemes God. And this evil music has even made its way into the apostate church. The fruit of rock music is the same. Drug use, immorality, occult, all this lyrics sodomy, death, rebellion and blasphemy you know that's something to avoid brothers and sisters you know rock music people go out of their minds you know it's very rebellious music and the, the lyrics are got against God as it were and also worldwide love of a cult I mean thanks to Walt Disney you know you know, and Hollywood, they, you know, 
make uh, the occult look very good to adults and children, but it's it's not. Through Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Narnia, and less, and also fairy tales for inf infants, Satan and his followers have popularised the occult. People worldwide are accepting what any rational person would never accept. The dark powers of Satan's worlds of the occult are becoming popular and accepted. It is exciting and attractive to one's fleshly desires. But the occult is an abomination to God, and only those who hate him will accept the occult. Another, even if you think, you know, I'm not practicing the occult, but you're watching it, you know, music, I mean, you know, witches and wizards and magic, you know, and anything like that, it's, you know, God does not like. But, uh, but, God, uh, but the occult is abomination to God. Another sad trend is the love of occultism, and it's also made its way into the, the church, apostate church. Imagine people who dare to call themselves Christians, loving, accepting Satan's occultism. And let me see what it says in Deuteronomy 18, what God says. There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or daughter pass through the fire, or uses divination, or an observer of the times, astrology, or an enchanter, or a witch, or wizard, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a spirit medium. Don't get involved with that or wizard or necromancer, those who communicate with the dead. See, see, it's an abomination to God, because it says, there should not be found anyone among you, anyone that does these things. And also, drug use. People need their drugs to cope and to have fun, they think, as well as alcohol, etc. And many other types of drugs are used to assist people in their parties, in quest of fun and entertainment. But those who use drugs, you will find their minds blinded to the things of God, so they forget God and they're on a, a path of destruction, you know, completely, you know, addicted to it. And, and even m many die. These people go merrily along until they perish forever in a lake of fire. The Bible warns the cost the lost person about the sudden destruction that awaits. Let me read what the Bible about, you know, drug use and you know what how it affects the mind. In Romans twelve, and also you know, let's see, Romans consequently, I entreat you, entreat you by the compassions of God, brothers and sisters, to present your brother, your bodies, as sacrifice, living and holy, acceptable to God, a sacred service with your power of reason, and quit being fashioned after the system of things, by, but be transformed by making your mind over, that you may prove to yourselves the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. See, we need to says there, have a body that's a living sacrifice and holy, and your mind with your power of reason. That's what the Bible says. Because if you haven't got a power of reason, you can't, God, Satan can, you know, you can really be possessed by the devil, you know, to do bad things. You can't think straight. God warns, you know, in First Thessalonians 5.3, God's judgment is going to come just like that, just like the pandemic, out of the blue. So it's, it's best to, uh, you know, if you sin, to repent through Christ, to God through Jesus Christ. The only, you know, the way, the truth, and the life, John 14, 6, is the only saviour, as it says in Thessalonians. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Sinners will not escape, it will come just like that. Sudden destruction, when you don't expect it. Immorality is another one that God hates. Satan has people fornicating and committing adultery like it's not a sin. 
people do immoral acts with no thoughts uh, of the disease for their body or the judgment of God that will come into their lives. People certainly do reap what they sow, yet Satan has blinded the masses to the consequences of sexual immorality. You know, so many, you know, people, this, they, this, they're doing this, you know, before marriage and even, you know, behind their partner's back when they're married. And this is, this is an abomination to God. You don't, in 1 Corinthians 6, flee fornication. In verse 18, uh, God says, Every sin that man does is without the body, but the, he that commits fornication, you know, or a woman or man, sins against his own body. That's why only fornication one is allowed to divorce. Anything else is committing adultery. Those that do these things, you know, when they're married, uh, uh, and going with someone else to commit an adultery, it's just, God hates all these things. Free fornication. Another sin that God hates is, is, is murder. You know, thanks to abortion, you know, the world is murdering the innocents at alarming rates. Innocent children. All this spilling of innocent blood is a stench in the face of God. And also in, in wars, you know, that happening all over the Middle East and Russia and Ukraine. You know, wars, you know, m murder, but murder, you know, un you know, born children, you know, innocent blood. It says murder, thanks to abortion, the world is murdering the innocent at an alarming rate. All this spilling of innocent blood, there's a stench in God's face, who, who sees it all. Others are murdered through war, you know, or, or the killing of the elderly or the sick. All, all these sins bring the judgment God closer. It's just a waste of human life. And, uh, you know, wars and uh, abortion. Proverbs 6. These things God, the Lord hates. God, Yahweh. Seven are, are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, you know, and a heart that, you know, and, and so forth. This is it, and the hands that shed innocent blood. So even, you know, those who are killing wars and, and, and abortion, all these things. And also sodomy, you know. Years ago, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, for an example, to f future generations. The lessons were simple. You do what they did, and you will be judged and destroyed too. Today, sodomy is a worldwide accepted practice. You know, LGBT uh, become accepted. Laws have been passed to protect this sin. As I said, they've got more rights now. Laws have been passed to protect this sin. I think especially from 2004. And to give it special status. Here is what God says about it. This is the major sign of impending judgment. Jude 1. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in this like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth, for example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So, you know, it says it quite clearly, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. This was uh, to give uh, an example, you know, when... Uh, you know, men went with men. Let's see. Let's see. And it says, uh, see, Romans 1. Romans 1, I think 26, says,
says, and likewise, even the males, males left the natural use of the female and became violently inflamed in their lust towards one another, with males and males working what is obscene and receiving in themselves the full recompense which was due for their error. Yet, yeah, God will give them you know, their just rewards. It's very obscene against God. So, you know, all, all these things, you know, you know, all these things, pe pe you know, judgment is coming, you know, and there's some examples of the sin, you know, the entire world is getting very ripe for judgment, and that day is upon us very soon now. It's already started, as I said. And, you know, so, you know, that's why God doesn't like these sins and will judge any unrepentant sinners that carry on doing these things. You know, that's why, the, you know, all this, the weather's gone crazy, you know, and you're experiencing all types of record-breaking, uh, you know, disasters and, st disasters and storms and diseases. Guess what? It's only going to get worse, you know. Because God's, this, this is a forewarning, as God's judgment is coming ever nearer. The days of judgment are, are very fearful to the lost person. And this is it. It will get so bad, it will get worse. And the days ahead, heads, that men's hearts will fail, fail out of fear. But also, you know, he's coming for those unrepentant sinners. That's why it's best to, you know, this is, uh, you know, take these warnings seriously and repent through Christ Jesus who died for you and me out of his love willingly died to wash our sins away if only if you accept him as your Lord and Saviour and, and repent and re turn away from sin because even after death you might think oh I died and I didn't, don't care I'm going to die anyway I'll carry on sinning well, it says here, we're all going to uh, be raised from the dead and, and become uh, come before the throne of Christ in heaven. God has appointed that to judge. You know, uh, some will have life and some to be thrown into the lake of fire, which, not a literal lake of fire, but it's a second death, which I'll read about. Let me read those that will uh, to say, go there. This is it. In the second, says it. And the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making all things new. Also, he says, Right, because these words are faithful and true. And it goes on to say, Anyone conquering will inherit these things. That is, eternal life. And I shall be his God, and he will be my son. But as for the cowards, look, these are, uh, there, there's more sins here that we should avoid. Uh, as, for, as for the cowards and those without faith, those that, that show no faith to God or his son, uh, like the ones that uh, murmured or complained in the wilderness to Moses, you know, when they, you know, they put no faith in God, he said, you know, they're always murmuring about food and water. They had no faith. See, those without faith in God and Christ, and those who are disgusting in their filth, that is, uh, you know, men lying with other men, or things like that. And also, you know, women, same. And those practicing spiritism, as I said, you know, occults and idolaters, that is, uh, worshipping any form of idols. I might do another video about that. And all the liars, their portion will be in a lake that burns with fire and sulfur. This means a second death. Eternal death. No chance of life. And I, and I saw 
a great white throne and one seated upon it. From before him the earth and the heavens fled away and no place found in them. And I saw the dead and the great and the small standing before the throne. We will be resurrected and judged and scrolls were opened. But another scroll was opened and it is the scroll of life. And the dead were judged out of those things written in the scrolls according to their deeds. According to their deeds we will be judged even after death. And it, the, the sea gave up those dead in it and the death in Hades gave up the dead in them. And they were judged individually according to their deeds. And death and Hades were held in the lake of fire. Furthermore, whoever was not found written in the book of life was held into the lake of fire, which is the second death, eternal death. There is, it says here, there is one trend I have noticed with each and every disaster as the earth is pounded by one unusually strong disaster after another. This trend is an extreme lack of repentance and turning to God. Turning to God. In other words, it will get worse and worse and worse because they lack repentance and they carry on wicked, sinful ways. It does not matter how many times the wicked experience the judgment of God, the wicked heart harden their hearts and go deeper into the rejection of the Lord. Jesus, the Lord Jesus and the love of their, and, and they, they carry on loving their sin. Repentance, you need repentance, which is a turning away from sin and a turning to the Lord Jesus for salvation. Sadly, it's lacking in these days. That's why, you know, things are getting worse. Climate chaos, extreme uh, weather and volcanic and earthquakes. These are all signs, wars, famine, disease, signs that God's not happy. You know, as Luke 5 says, I came not to call the righteous but the sinners to repent, Jesus said. You know, next we will look and it says here, one disaster may is here, the disasters that will hit the earth will slowly increase in frequency and duration like you know a pregnant pregnant woman as just before birth this is a sign that God is ready to, for the day of judgment let me read one more scripture to finish off however let one this one fact not be escaping your notice that's second Peter chapter 3 that one day with God Yahweh uh, is a thousand years and a thousand years is but a day. God, Yahweh, is not slow respecting his promise as some people consider slowness, but he is patient with you because he does not desire anyone to be destroyed but desires all to attain repentance. So, you know, so that's very important. Repentance, repentance, repentance. That's what God says. And, uh, you know, come before him in prayer and turn from sin and accept Christ as your Lord and Saviour who will forgive that can that has forgiven our sins. God bless. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.